Well, after that rather bracing start to the second day, we've moved on to our final site. That's uh, Stockwood Park here, where all the remaining events will be held. The next one is cricket, making a reappearance in Superstars. And I think all our competitors have seen what can happen in this event because they've all decided to uh, wield the bat. Cricket, always unpredictable. Neil Adams has opted for this rather than shooting or 100 metres. England's John Edrich down there and his bowling machine are what the batsmen face for eight balls. Luton Town Cricket Club, the fielders. And that's a beautiful hit by Neil. And it is a boundary. It's a six. Second ball coming up. Very good hit. Well chosen, and that's just one run. Well, Adam scored three off the next three balls, leaving him three more to face. And this village green atmosphere of cricket, very different from the normal high-powered superstar event, but it's another test. Adam stumped off ball seven of the eight for 11 runs. And it was Mike Slemon lying third overall to chase that total. Not a bad one for Adams by any means. One of the most important things uh, that I have to do in order to throw my opponent is to have the right line. So this uh, vertical balance line here uh, this situation at the moment is perfect if I want to do uh, throw my Uchimata, for example. But if my partner has turned, you can see that the line here changes. Okay, so what happens is the readjustment and finding the line in for the Uchimata here is really, really important because without that line, it's really difficult to attack with the Uchimata. If my partner is turned around the other way, for example, again, really impossible at the moment from this angle to do the Uchimata. So I've either got to move all the way around to find the line here, or what I've got to do is I have to move my opponent around the circle in order to find the line to do the Uchimata. So finding the line of attack is very, very important. Whether you can hit it direct, sometimes if they're right-handed, for example, then we have to do other things to change the line so we can attack. Or if they're opposite, left against right, then same situation and same uh, um, same principles. What we have to do is change their position in order to find the line of attack. So finding the line of attack is very important um, from a defensive point of view. Obviously keeping the line or uh, preventing the line of attack is also very important. But that's another blog and something that I'll deal with at a later date. The real advantage here of having the, um, the balance mat is not only to look at me, all right, but, but the, the face is an indicator of direction. All right, so where my eyes look, all right, basically that's the center of the vertical balance line. So this is ideal all right, for throws uh, like Uchimata, which is one of the most difficult throws to do. And first of all from this situation here, it's to get both feet as central as I possibly can, right the way between my foot and legs. If they're on the outside of the circle, it's no good. If they're on the outside of the circle, no good. If I can get them really deep and plant them onto the face, then 
I should be able to get more lift. And it's all about lift and getting both my feet here central in order to lift. So this plays a really big part, just step on either side. This plays a really big part on me managing to get my legs central and getting the lift that I need. It's all about mind. There's the vertical balance line. That vertical balance line is absolutely essential here if I'm going to do Uchi Mata. If I don't get it, if I don't have that, then it's impossible to do.